This segment is sponsored by the Boys and Girls Club of America. The demand for science, technology, engineering and math or STEM in the workforce is ever present. Thermo Fisher Scientific and Boys and Girls Clubs of America are changing the game by partnering together to help connect youth in communities that are historically underserved with high quality learning experiences that inspire and propel kids into thriving STEM careers. And joining me now to share more about this partnership are Paul Parker from Thermo Fisher Scientific and Crystal Brown from Boys and Girls Club of America. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. I love this partnership happening. Before we get into it, Paul, Thermo Fisher, what are you guys all about? We are the world leader in serving science and we produce everything from lab products to diagnostic tests and equipment uh, like you would have seen in, in COVID for PCR testing. Okay. Uh, we also manage clinical trials and we help large pharmaceutical companies and, and biotech companies um, make their make their products and find discoveries for the next great breakthroughs. So how did this partnership with Boys and Girls Club of America come about? So we've had this now for a number of years and it's just grown over time. It's a tre tremendous um, you know, partnership between our two organizations. Our mission is about helping and enabling our customers to make the world healthier, cleaner and safer. And so it's all about STEM, how we use science to enable that. And so the next generation of STEM leaders have to come from the youth today. And so partnering with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America has really been an amazing way to make that happen. And Crystal, we've seen such a boom of STEM, so this just sounds like a perfect partnership. It's so important. And of course, we're the uh, premier youth development organization at the Boys and Girls Club of America. So it makes sense that we would partner yeah. with Thermo Fisher Scientific. Um, we're so pleased with the partnership. We know that it's, it's long term, it's sustainable. Um, and it really is about the future and our youth getting exposed to um, opportunities within STEM. What have you guys been able to do in this past year? Um, there's a lot of fun, hands-on <laughs> <I> activities. <bet. laughs> um, we do a lot through, um, it's called My Futures, and it's a digital platform, it's okay. DIY STEM. So that is something that Thermo Fisher um, Scientific has been um, enabling us to do. And they also helped us identify a gap in ensuring that our staff that work in our clubs are prepared and have confidence mm -hmm. to talk about STEM. And so that is something that Thermo Fisher Scientific has um, enabled us to do. Um, and constantly reevaluating and helping us with our curriculum within and STEM. For, for STEM and for the kids, why is such an early presence and an early teaching of STEM important? We really need to have all of uh, STEM education be reflected in society at large because you're gonna need it for the challenges that are coming ahead of us. And it's just been proven time and time again that if you start with the youth, all of their education improves over time, particularly with STEM, and early adoption, early exposure is critically important to that. And I feel too, it's that hands-on and just really seeing how practical the things they are learning in school <laughs> is, is to the real world. It's gotta be so important. All right, thank you to both of you. I love thank this you. partnership, love it's it. really incredible. And we've got a fun demonstration, so I'm gonna leave you guys, <laughs> and I'm gonna head over here to our very own laboratory that we have. We have Julie Jacobson, that is here with us today, and we have 12-year-old Elias. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. What are we making today? Elias, what are we making? We're making slime. That sounds with like the best. Yeah. Parents right. are like, oh <laughs> yeah, we know about slime. All right, Elias, how do we do this? All right, you ready? Right, First, yeah. safety goggles. Obviously. Gotta be safe, right? Yes. From All right. You wanna take it over? All right. All right, we got Let's our see. glue. So four ounces of glue we start okay. with. And this is just like home glue, regular, teaspoon. like yep. Elmer's regular kind of glue. Okay, glue. yep. And then three teaspoons of baking, baking soda. soda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you got to mix it up. To, let's get it started. I'll get you a cleaning spoon. Spoon. There you go. Mix it up. Julian, it's funny how this slime has become so popular with. I mean, I love it. I love that the kids are learning this. But I know yeah. parents at home are like, oh yeah, oh yeah. We've we've had our fair share of being made at home. We have. I think I've made pools of it with my niece, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm ready for this. All right, so you want teal, right? That's your yeah, favorite color? That's the color. Okay. All right, so nothing like plain old slime. We got to color this up. There you go. And that's just regular food coloring. Just regular old food it's coloring. Right. Absolutely. And Sorry. you put as much or as little as you want, depending upon the color. Ooh, Mix that up again. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good, good Elias. Job. And then. All right. When you're ready to make it come to life, you let me know. All right, here. All right. So then we'll put in our contact solution, and this is what's going to make it start coming to life. So we'll squirt that in there. All right, now give that a good stir and let me like know if that. we need more. It'll start to get that sliminess going. Yeah, oh, that yeah. special consistency. 
That's so, yeah. and Julie, when it comes to experiments like this and DIY things that these kids can do at home mm -hmm. with their parents too, yeah. how do you figure out what's going to be the most beneficial or what's going to be the most fun? Um, trial and error <laughs> and talking to the kids. So a lot of the times we get to do stuff with the Boys and Girls Club and, you know, the slime is always a popular one. Of course. Don't know if it's because it's sticky, slimy, or just so much fun to make and you oh, can really make it that was quick. the way you want. Absolutely. Like that. Boom. So then you can pull it out and you can play with it. It's runny, yet it's hard and can bounce. And so the kids love it and they can take it home in a bag. So it's, this That's is what they love, right? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Elias, I know. Very what fun. Is, what is it for you to be able to create something at home and know that it was your creation and you're learning as you're doing it? Yeah, I think that, you know, making stuff. It's, mm -hmm. it's fun, you know, it's yours. You made that, you know. And then there's competitions and stuff, like with oh. friends, if I'm doing this with friends, you know, see who, which is better, which yes. is more fun, you know, so. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up at this point? I'm actually going to be an engineer when I grow up. Okay, I've made awesome. a few things at home. Okay. Some really cool things. So. I bet you have. I have, yeah. Well, and I'm sure with Boys and Girls Clubs of America and Thermo Fisher, you are able to learn more and experiment more. So we're looking forward to seeing maybe some of your inventions that come mm -hmm. to the future. Hopefully. Thank you so much. Let's take one last look at this beautiful slime. Look at that. Oh. that that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. All right. Again, anyone can visit myfuture.net slash DIY STEM. There you can explore the variety of fun STEM activities that are sponsored by Thermo Fisher Scientific.